Hello there everyone and welcome back to Red Flood. I'm your host, Alyssa Rosenbaum Lover, but the Siberian War. With the Kutia secured, we can now turn our attention westward. The Siberian General Governor is all that lies between us and the Rump Empire State. The best time to offer is few natural obstacles, safer rivers and harshness of winter that our soldiers are much accustomed to. A conquest should be a formality with the Central Asia and Robert Shaw proper opened up to us. We shall reconquer the Republic. Whoever said our Siberia was a wasteland. Oh! Well, okay, I didn't realize that. I should have waited, because I did Upper Brothers in Siberia. Our comrades in Siberia. They're struggling under the boot of the despots and reactionaries. Many of them desire the freedom of the Republic, yet are bound and enslaved. We must liberate them. Seek international recognition. Due to defeat in the Civil War, many nations do not recognize us as the legitimate government of Russia in these turbulent times when the Tsar's grip diminished. It's worth petitioning sympathetic parties to recognize us at last. Well, we should have waited to do this, so. So now they're supposedly free. But now we're fighting both of them. Which means we only have to fight one at a time, though. Huh. I'm gonna say we'll do well. I don't really trust them that much, though. We could try it, though. Be offensive. Yeah, if we were to do that, might not be a great thing. What if you were to help out here? Hmm. Uh, well, that was getting a little better there, actually. Hmm, that's getting worse. How about you all just kind of stop? Down here is okay, though. Um, true. Turn to America, turn to the Commonwealth. Well, seeing as Rosenbaum did go to America, we're going to go with that. Turn to America. The American Revolutionary Spirit is something cherished and often referenced as inspiration among our own people. It's worth making more substantial connections between our nations, two strong republics found in the overthrow of tyrants standing together. Not poetic. Um. Help him out. We're gonna need more as much attack as possible here. But it would help if we had command power. Among the suffering brethren, the many nations of the periphery of the old empire that have found their freedom following the revolution. It's worth approaching them and attempting to make the former subjects of the Tsar and allies in the struggle to finally uh, uh, end the empire. I guess for us, create the empire. Oh, guess for y'all. If you go there, that'd be great. Save the infantry division. Happy 939, everybody. Hope you're having a great, great year. Uh, yes. Improved artillery. Very good. Anti air, just in case. And it makes some better arty. And anti air. Maybe. You'll see. Ah, uh, you found an enemy, I see. Hmm. Extraction 4. Get some extraction as well. Where's the supply points? That's supply point. No supply point. There's no. There's literally no supply points around here. Good God, that's not good. Um, uh, here. Go right here too. Don't let them leave. Hit them as hard as you can out here. Move as fast as you can too. Bodai ball. Bodai ball. Nice. Very good. And how many divisions they got? Up to 19, which is not that many. And they all died. Now that's what we like to see. Can we go in? Can we enjoy ourselves here? Maybe. Definitely a maybe. I'm worried that the Imperial Authority is going to attack us sometime too. Roland von Ogunstanbeck is a little a bit of a crazy person, so... We might need to take him out as well. But American investments? Americans' interests in trans bearing trade and industrial improvements or investments will benefit our economy and offer new market opportunity for American manufacturers. Absolutely. Absolutely. Positively, literally. We're looking alright so far. We don't have any of this core, unfortunately, but whatever. These should all be cores. So technically, fighting on core territory, which is a very, very good thing. This point, make one city, make one milli at all times. There you go. Missing a crap ton of guns. Not good. That was by one, so we don't need as many. Still, we're still going to need plenty, plenty, plenty. Oh my gosh, our coots can see all the base around here. 
If anything, you guys go this way. NTR upgrades, 1939. Let's get all the extraction stuff done. Can't extract very much of anything, but you know what? It'll help out in the end. Eventually. Eventually. How about you guys stop? You guys stop. You guys keep going. And you want what? Expense suppression. Because right now, it looks like we're honestly probably going to need to do like this. Because good god, this is so bad. So give us some time for this. Oh, negotiations in Kiev were bypassed. Okay. Revolutionaries at home. In order to facilitate the downfall of the Empire, the members of the band left us organizations in Russia. Should we support it any way possible? Though we have little capacity for subterfuge, material, and financial support uh, for the now underground organizations. Look at that. Uh, well, help us in the long run. Trip to Yerevan. <clears throat> the Armenians. I come to cherish our freedom from the Turkish and Ru Russian yokes. Their potential allies struggle to contain the perils and their resurgence. Protection of Washington. There are those in Washington who sympathize with their cause from the start of the revolution. Over time, these sides have strengthened, and now we're prepared to enter formal diplomatic recognition with the United States. The government are prepared to entertain a claim to Russia and will protect the republic's existence. Um, new HQ in Yelsinki? A new Republican headquarters in Gelsinkers will help bring another the Tsar's puppets into our periphery, setting the stage for weakening the empire and strengthening of the Republican cause in the east. Sabotage in the the Tsarists. No, we're going to wait for that one. So, we also went this way. Artillery modernization. Of course, modernizing artillery banditries using the comet to reach further. It'll strike harder and more, be more mobile. We'll enable much greater effect of use before the MQ will be sent in. Experience of the previous wars. I think I read this before, but the Velkia Volnia and the Civil War Tsar command as much of the new modern manner of warfare. Most of from the past to see the future. So, we'll be sitting here for a while and just kind of like waiting and trying to not die to these barbarians. But a couple comments include. I think personally think that this path should feel like the now removed anarcho primitivist path. But Zilto Russia is a special country that can make insane paths work. Someone else asks, or says, can this path, or can this country become the Qing Chinese? That'd be interesting, but no, I don't think that we can, which is kind of interesting to think about. Alright everyone, so I wish I showed you all what had happened, but the Imperial Authority went to war with us, and we had to spam out a lot of divisions. Actually, there we go. These are the divisions we spammed out. Um, and then the Siberian group up here was just god-awful to fight. I never recommend fighting them. It's one of the worst things you could do in probably Russia here. Then again, this is Asia, so... Yeah, I would never recommend it. Never, ever, 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 ever recommend because it it's so god-awful. But I've done a couple of focuses off screen, such as bearing destruction. While well, it's a distasteful practice, the bombing of industrial targets populated by civilians is new reality to total war. Some bombers can fly low with escort, a fighter escort to bomb military targets, but others can carry heavy payloads for targeted industrial disruption. Expand air bases. Like our military air bases in the Far East are inadequate for housing and fielding a truly modern air force, we must expand them at once, supporting the army. One of the roles of an air force is direct ground support. New planes designed for low yield, close range bombardment should be the development or should be developed to assist the troops and naval bomb bombers. In order to command our wads with minimal naval deployment, we could use special bombers designed for maritime operations and exercise control of the sea with minimal fuel consumption and aerial doctrines. The newest theater of war, I, the air, lessons of the past two wars will help us build new piloting schools and instructing the next generation of aces. Absolutely. Uh, it's now 1941, which is not bad, but yeah, this was god awful fighting through here. Don't ever fight, play in Asia. I kind of like the flag. It's kind of different and unique, but still. Mm, yeah, I mean, it's not great fighting here. I'm gonna rush those divisions out, too. Good lord. Which equipment. Um, 1941, construction speed, yeah. Tis for the best. And we will go this here. Also, I did get full in all of this part of Russia, which is probably a really bad idea. Because now they're probably super, super, super strong. Actually, they don't have that many divisions. they got a lot of manpower, though. Um, so that's going to be tr really sucky fighting them. Let's go ahead and do this, too. You know what? You're mostly good with infantry, so all the horses go over here. Now the infantry go over there. It's a little more balanced that way. Bad supply up there, huh? Sucks to be a tank, then. All right. Keep working on that. Um, other than that, we did grab Teresh Chenos Consortium Industrial Concern. That's pretty good. And it's the question of command. The direction of any of army command is of great importance to our overall doctrine and the oh, manner in which we shall prosecute the wars in the future. For these guys, 18 combat width. Nice. 
Going through this on there. I want them to have recon, you guys are okay, but you need some arty, but we can't afford that, which sucks. Um, looks like they can't guard the entire border, which makes sense, which is fine with us. So let's go do that real quick. Fighter 2, let's get some cast as well. I'm not sure how successful we'll really be over here, but you never know. Could use more cast. Just could use more of everything. Fighting in Asia sucks so much. Come down, come down here. We're gonna throw all those guys and kill them off. That's the most important thing. They are going nuts. Okay then. Well, Max Planner might still go with unyielding, unyielding defender, but we'll see. Nice. Well, nine thousand. We don't have a lot of manpower. Forty-four thousand. Uh, we are currently on volunteer. Oh, well, that doesn't help. We'll go to limited conscription next. And Russian Revolutionary Fleet, built from the remains of the Far Eastern Fleet. The Russian Revolutionary Fleet requires new capital and screen ships to keep up and compete with their neighbors. Nice. Of course, we get like no political power, but whatever. And that'd be nice. You should just go that way for now, it's fine. Oh, where's. Oh. Also, we are guaranteed by America, which is awesome. So, if anyone. Because that's how, what helped us out as well. Um, this guy is being dumb. Okay, what is going on here? That too. I'm going to expert scavenger. You'll go scavenger. Bought us, we need that right now. This gets to use more stability in the worst part, though. And if you can go down there, no guarantees, but try your best. And kill them all off. See what happens. Not bad. They're almost gone. 163,000 have died so far. Not enough, but, you know, it's, it's a start. Russian National Peasant Republic. Who's that? Oh. Get down here. Go to Google. Oh, go to Google. Um, return to Central Asia. Oh. Could have done this anyways. Forces abandoned Central Asia after the loss of Kazan and Great Retreat Peace were began. At last, we return to the steppe. Oh. Well, then. Every core state claimed by Zyopto Russia. Well, they're ours now. Oh. Well, crap. What's well, dumb? Oh, I should not have done that. That's stupid. I should not autocomplete. But I guess I'm learning what not to do next time. We need to select new commanders. The halls of power look within the possible choices. While Boris Shapshnikov believed in autonomy for various divisions, Tukhachevsky believed in armored spirit actions or across the uh, vast fields of Russia. And while this really may be the controversial one, it is certainly enticing to imagine Russian tanks landing the fields of the Siberian steppe. Well, lastly, there's uh, Volchichevsky who believes in a much different approach of regaining Russia, and that's to use trench warfare in favor of defense over offense. Looks to many strange, but certainly a possible approach. The country looks forward towards the future. To reclaim Russia needs a new commander, so who do we pick? Defensive autonomy? Organization loss. To, oh, Doctrine of Autonomy. Tanks. Defense. Oh, autonomy because. You no. Know, every. Like, I think that would probably fit the best out of everyone we have here, so. Nice. Do we have claims on these? Oh my god, we don't have claims. It's gonna take forever to get all these things back then. Oh, it's done. Prevent a new Red Napoleon as well. In order to prevent too much command power falling into the hands of one man, new chain of commands delegating autonomy to the regiment, and even company commanders, I'm sure any future military coup will never have the backing of the entire army. Desert campaign. Oh, here we go. The warlords of Turkestan have been playing divide and conquer for the people of the Turkic Desert. It's time to show them the air of their ways and remind them of the subservience of the north. Yes, please. Nice. And 41, we're going to grab some of this. Some of this. 
and institute some of this. Keep going, more resources. How long, how long will it take for us to take Curry out? Eh, a little bit of time. Well, Curry needs to go. Um, do they have no divisions? I guess they have no divisions. I guess it makes sense. Goodbye, Mr. Dude. I didn't even know what your name is, but goodbye. Because now we can also hopefully go down here and beat up some people, too. Nothing like beating people up. For our enjoyment, of course. Also, I did mobilize well, to a higher conscription level as well, which would be very nice. Oh, look at everyone that we can take out. I love it. Beat them up. I want them beaten and bloodied. As we train more. And I always forget, whenever I play Red Flood, it's very, very fast to build up supply bases. And I love it. I love that the desert did that. Because, my god, does it suck sometimes doing this. <clears throat> Shock and awe. What else? Rubber? Yeah, I could use some rubber. We're doing okay on building stuff up, though. Yeah, just get that one done first, whatever. Are right, we good to go? Yeah, someone give us get, uh, get a little more organization, please. Yeah, I don't get that much. So, preventing a new Red Napoleon. Strength and discipline, which is good. Restore soldiers' councils. Um, send Pola trucks to the army. Uh, Proclamish Eta Ariel? Nice. Loyalty of the army. Rather than the dedicated military police, the Politrox will serve as political officers in the army, ensuring ideological boundaries are not overstepped by the officers and troops. Loyalty of the army is paramount. Soldiers' councils, huh? While seen as some of a tool for political insurrection within the army, Soldiers' council allows for proper accountability of officers to their troops and a massive boost of soldier morale. I kind of want more attack. Huh. Well, I'll do this one too, so... Please support first. Support and escort ships are key component of the Navy and must be fitted with the latest in armor, armament, and anti sub -technolo technology. Hmm. That's a lot more attack. I think I want to go with bullet trucks. Something kind of crazy. Let's go ahead and go toward these guys. There's no way for us to core anything here either, so it really sucks. Nice. Go on, hurry up. And do your best. Just sneak through everything. Anything else new here? Oh, mechanized, okay. Get some more sport equipment. We're gonna need that. Do we need more? Do we really need more guns? No, we got more than enough. Tashkent, yes please. More armor XP, yes please. Beautiful. Very good. I only sent eight because anything else would be way too much. Planes. Well, we have no manpower. Happy 1942, by the way, everybody. Game, what the heck? What? Jesus Christ, what game, come on. I just want the fighters and whatnot. But I guess we have no fighters. God dang it. We're going to need to raise conscription level probably at least twice more. Probably. Ah, 65 days, eh? That's alright, we can wait for them. Build, build, build. Gonna hurt a trench map, but whatever. And hail to those who gave the freedom. The heroes who gave their lives to the revolution are to be remembered, lionized, and immortalized. They serve as the ultimate inspiration for the next generation and those who come. Absolutely. Y'all are slow. So slow. Oh, you guys are really weak, though, so it doesn't even matter, I guess. Nice. 
Head on in, have a good time, beat him up, but don't abuse him too much. We prefer to abuse him when they're alive. Depending on who you ask. Anyways. <clears throat> Max on that naval stuff. Yay, completely surrounded now. I love it when they're surrounded and alone. That sounds really weird out of context. This has been a really weird commentary from me. Just leak. Just lick. Just leak? Lick? I don't know. And how many divisions they got? Oh, the war thing's not even up there yet. There it is. Up to four. But they're very weak. So it doesn't even matter. Anti air upgrades, very nice. Better artillery, yes, please. Alexandrovsky. This is why you still use horses. Because if you didn't, you'd be doing it wrong. You're next. Not bad. You guys are six. Oh, you're only 16 comic book, huh? Yeah, no. Throw some arty on there too, and logistics. Nice, there you go. Make yourselves even thicker. Usually I don't like that one because usually you can get your own uh, more worst part through this stuff, but we don't get enough political power anyway, so I'm actually okay with that for now. For now. That's a really good experience for this. Uh, Vasily Boldurev. Look at all that. Look at all he's trying to learn. He's a learner. Something we should all strive to be. And I should take my own advice sometimes too. Mary. We got a bunch of weird Central Asian names, but then the capital is just now Mary. Probably uh, changed. Made it fit all language right now. Supply issues. Oh, you're not connected, which is a supply issue. And you don't have supply ability to. It's fine, whatever. The best you can for now. Go, go, go. Faster, faster, faster. We have until when? Oh, whenever. Nice. Also, Paul, eh? They had nothing but five, literally just five trains. That was it. Wow. Fergana. Well, young Russia, hail victorious. I wish we get more cores. We saw the German cooperation, I guess. But Far East Fleet, the Imperial Far East Fleet was command commandeered by the Revolution in 1920 and remained in service since. It's now a power, pitiful, and outdated force in need of reform. Like most things, like most things here. Going from Mary uh, to Bukhara. Bukhara. Nice. You don't attack us, we attack you. Beautiful. Yeah, we need to mobilize more. Expand the docks of Vladivostok. With Vladivostok back in Russian hands, the process of rebellion and improving the dockyards began in earnest. The port will become a fortress and the center of naval power to rob the Norfolk, Yadenhofen, Portsmouth, and Petrograd. Oh, look at that. Become an organizer, infantry leader, cavalry leader, even a desert fox. Mm. 
Nice. You might as well just go through there. Completely surrounded. No way to escape. And they're dead. Beautiful. Well, there's that. I guess I'll leave you guys over here, because now we're going to spend some serious time waiting to go to war with the Commonwealth of Poland. And also go to war with someone else, which I doubt. They have 5 to 7 million manpower, all in all adults serve. It's up at 63 divisions, which is not bad, but we've got a way to get more political power, so... Naval Research Center, in order to keep pace with the advance of technology. Naval technology, that is, around the world. We should establish a Naval Research Center to track and direct the new development of ships and armaments, supporting the fleet. The Air Force is not only crucial for ground operations, but an increasingly important part of uh, war at sea. New aircraft carriers are becoming more widespread, and we should do our best to keep up in this regard. Alright, everyone, so here we are at, and Poland is dead! Because of Volks Republic Germania, with a funny little, little symbol there, led by Ernst Reventlow, has killed them. And they are pretty thick. The road front, fr road front a, a couple guys in reserve, a um, couple of divisions here and there with 40 combo divisions we look down here. Oh, good God. And uh, look over here. Oh god, god, they're kind of thick, aren't they? And we have no manpower. But that means it's the best time to go to war, isn't it? Absolutely. My god, I hope we don't die here. But since we got a war, we can now go to service guard requirement. And we go to war economy as well. Which would be very nice. Um, other than that, we're not, we're not doing any focuses right now. Ooh, I had to go to war with uh, them too. The Italians. But hail Russia, or young Russia, hail victorious. Slava Russia, eventually you will uh, have victory against the at last noble Russians. The Republic is defeated the Empire. Just the St. George slew the serpent on the crest of the Nazi Empire. It would be very nice once we get there. But it's going to be a while. So, hopefully we can mobilize more men more quickly. <clears throat> because we are lacking that manpower. Oh, good God. But at least we're, we're mobilizing, which is good. So Very nice. Um, what else? Group empty air. Because they did throw them on the cavalry divisions, which are only 18 combat width. Uh, we're getting rocket artillery just for the funnies. For the funny moments. Anything else here? No. Anything here? Yes. Recon. And these guys, I mean, I made more divisions. Obviously, these are now 44 combat with help fight the Germans and whatnot. So, I was really thinking we were going to fight the Poles, but, you know, no Pole action this time. Anything else we really care about? Um, That's not bad. Ground attack and agility. I always, always, always do fire stuff to you. So far, not bad. Uh, taking 34, 37,000 casualties. We've taken 7,000. Still no manpower. I don't want to keep an eye on that, but whatever. Uh, have you guys been there? You might actually do some more okay stuff there, huh? So far, not bad. That's a lot of damage. 10 damage, ain't, ain't, that ain't bad. Over here, infantry expert, no. We're going to go with max trench because that's going to help our divisions out no matter what. Whether the infantry or not. Um, overall, not bad. Only 42 infantry divisions, whatever. Uh, and they took out pretty much everybody else, which kind of so good. God, that's a lot of roll to front we have to fight. I did not realize that we'd fight that many guys. Okay, man, not bad. That's a lot of dudes. Oh boy. I'll keep working on the doctrines, I guess. Right, so you guys can't win Jack Squad. Right so you guys are actually going to stop. Everyone just go on hold. It's fine. Whatever. We're going to have you guys position yourselves so that you can do quite, quite bueno. But in the meantime as well, we got to make sure we get enough supply because... Uh, as we all know, the one thing Russia doesn't like, in parts of Asia, definitely, in Africa and whatnot, they don't like having enough supply. We're doing hopefully some good damage to them over there. Obviously, naval stuff doesn't really matter at all. We're done with this streak almost completely, which is very nice, actually. Oh, good God, that is not good. I might do some funky stuff to make sure we don't completely lose here. Because if we lose, well, that would kind of suck, would it not? That would kind of suck. Fighters. Yes. Are we mobilizing for real or what? Like, seriously. Yeah, you guys are not thick enough. Alright, let's make it thick. We don't... Okay, never mind. We don't have that much command power. Or uh, army XP, I should really say. We need more divisions. Oh, do we actually have manpower now, finally? No? Yes? Tactical withdrawal, overwhelming firepower, last of defense. Yeah, I'll go with that one. 
right here. When we do fight them, we can generally obliterate them. Depending on who it is, I guess. Yeah, like that. Of course, those are the Yugoslavs. What do you, what do you expect? Still. Push them in. Give them nothing. Take from them everything. 95,000 losses. They are fighting. Is it just us? It might be just us. It's a massive front to fight. to be us there. But will we let them? A little bit of manpower. Still building ourselves up a little bit more, 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 more. Um, Resource-wise, or at least supply-wise, looking not bad. Now we got supply through here, too, which is good, good, good. Got stuff down there, got stuff down there, which is awesome. Going through some more uh, stuff right there, too. So right now, we're 10%. we got quite a ways to mobilize, which is a good thing. But we just don't have enough of Anything. Oh, oh, that's not good. We need way more already. My bad. That's the case. Work on those two, but first, at least start working on this one and these two. That'd be nice. Now we're going to stay for just a little bit as we're going to ruin what we've already been trying to make. Because as much as I want to attack, this one's going to go very well. We don't have enough artillery, obviously, or anything else, but engineers will definitely help us out. And it's, of course, almost 45, so we let this go on for quite a while. But really the biggest thing we're missing, because we have light tanks now too, is um, just arty. Artillery. I always lack arty. One of the things you never really want to lack either. Um, yeah. Keep going back to the page, expecting something different. But it's never different. Alright, cowboys. We like thick horses. If they're not thick, we don't want them. And China's going to go to war with everybody, too, so. Yep, we can't afford that one. But they're close enough for now. Alright. Dust protections, gun, whatever. Until they're slowly, slightly getting worse. War propaganda. Ooh. Well, that wouldn't be bad. More political power, war support. Uh, yeah, we could do that one. But I do like getting extra stability as well at the same time. Stability is just very nice to have. Let's come over here. We're going to do this. Thank you. And do that. Good. Sad. Good. Alright. Losses. That's a lot. That's not good. You guys keep them right there. And you guys help to support the attack as well? Yeah, please. I don't have to like, do a general uh, front-wide attack, but we'll get there. Hopefully. Ship designer, heavy equipment, light tanks. Well, we do have light tanks already, so we can also get that one. I kind of doubt we could do really well on the offense, so we're going to wait a little bit longer so we can push as hard as we can with a lot of arty. As we slowly, slowly will build ourselves up a little bit more, 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 more.
All right, everyone. So at this point now, um, I just basically use cons commands again. I apologize for using cons commands, but I just got tired of this war. I just kept going on and on and on and on. And we can do it fairly and squarely, no problem. But I just got tired of it. That was really annoying. It just took forever. My God, I did not expect to fight the Germans, the entire rock front, uh, as Zelto Rossiya. So it kind of really, really sucked. But oh well, it is what it is. I mean, we could have done it fairly, but I just I don't. I felt like we were just wasting time if. Uh, if I, and I don't want to spend all that time just spending hours for like 30 people to watch so it is what it is it, it can be done fairly but I didn't really feel like doing it fairly because it would have taken too much time but we're trying to finish up our last focus here I guess we could take these guys out too but I, I don't care at this point I really don't uh, young Russia hail victorious so and we know it's the Russian Republic move the capital to Moscow um, but yeah I've spent like at least two hours on this off screen like, not including all the other parts of this video as well, so. And it's already 1947. This is ridic ridiculous. But it's Red Flood. It should be ridiculous, right? And we've got three more days. A lot more cores, even though we are on the service by requirement. Let's see how much manpower we get in a day. Not bad. For many centuries, the Atlas has borne the brunt of the Orient and the Occident, but that is over. From Abin to Moscow, our show is free from backwardness and oppression, socialism and tradition, President Elisa Rosenbaum ascends to true, introduce true liberalism, true freedom to Russia, and like the wonderful aftertaste of a glass of wine, we all smell prosperity on the horizon. Yet someone questioned Rosenbaum's intentions, pointing to her rhetoric even in her days as a backbench from Bahabim. To her left, they ask, in a country so racked with poverty and inequality after the Civil War, what effect will such a minimalist plan uh, for the government have? <clears throat> even in her own party, some inquired as whether she will only welcome Mammon into the heart of the Republic to corrupt it. And yet, while her critics are many, it is her who stands victorious over them. Atlas and Russia spread their wings, so Atlas shrugged. Alright, so my apologies about that, but I wanted to see if I could hear anything there. But yeah, that's going to be it for us here today. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.